Hey, if you need help adding and connecting a bank account to QuickBooks Online, you're in the right spot. We're going to cover that on today's video, and we're going to jump into it right now. So the very first thing you're going to do, hover your mouse in the left margin over accounting and click on chart of accounts. Now the very first thing we need to do here is to add the bank account to the chart of accounts. So we'll click the green new button at the top right corner of the screen. This will bring up the major account types that we can add. We are going to add a bank account in this situation. In the next field, save account under, we are going to save this under bank accounts. Tax form section is basically just a fancy way of asking what kind of bank account is this? Is this a checking account, savings account, cash on hand, etc.? For this example, we're going to do a checking account. Account name is what kind of name do we want to give this bank account? So uh, a lot of people can do either checking account or the name of the bank or the checking with the last four digits. It's whatever name you want to give this bank account in order to help you identify that name. Now description is just going to be something that stays here on this page, some, own, some notes for your own internal reference. Now we have to identify a starting date for this bank account in QuickBooks. Now this is not necessarily going to be today's date, although it could be, but this is the date that we are basically going to tell QuickBooks this is the very first day we will have transactions in this bank account that we're going to worry about here in QuickBooks. So if you have uh, transactions you want to get back to the beginning of this year, you could start it with the first date of this year, for example. Now, whatever date you pick as the starting date of the bank account, QuickBooks is always going to ask for what was the account balance at the end of the day prior to your starting date. So if you pick 531 as the starting date, at the end of the night on 530, what was the account balance for that checking account? So now that we're back in the chart of accounts, we've added that new account, we need to connect it. So we're going to click on the drop down arrow and then we'll click on connect bank. Now we need to connect QuickBooks Online with your bank's website so we can get those transactions imported automatically into QuickBooks Online. So if you see your bank's website here, you can click on the icon or search for the bank website which will take you to a screen where you enter in your user ID and password that you use to get logged in for online banking. Now this next screen is going to show you on the left side in the highlighted box, these are the bank accounts that your bank says are available to get connected. Once you choose which accounts you want to connect, on the right side in the drop down, you will choose which bank account on the chart of accounts in QuickBooks you want to connect that bank account to. Now the next option here is choosing what date do you want to start importing transactions from your bank's website into QuickBooks Online. Even though we've already selected a date when we added the bank account, this is going to say what date should QuickBooks request to your bank, start with the transactions on th this date, and import everything after that date. So in this example, we're going to change that uh, date from January 1st of 2022 to May 31st of 2022, just because that was the day that we said we opened up the bank account. So now you can verify that everything got imported and you've added the bank account. Go to your bank and your transaction screen and you should see a box there with the account name, how many transactions got uh, brought in from the bank's website. You'll also be able to see on the chart of accounts, if you go back and look, that checking account was added and that double arrow logo indicates the connection was made with the bank's website to QuickBooks Online.